I've never been comfortable with the kind of therapy where the patient waits to be cured by the doctor. I want to put power directly into the patient's hands so they can change their own lives. I developed simple but powerful techniques that give the patients this power, techniques anyone can use. I call them tools. Roberta wanted to stop obsessing about the possibility that her boyfriend was cheating on her. This was 25 years ago when I was just starting to practice psychotherapy. I felt in my gut that I hadn't been taught a way to respond directly to what a patient like Roberta was asking for. I described Roberta's demand to my supervisors, but they had no solution. When it came to immediate help, these therapists had very little to give to their patients. I had the sinking feeling they were speaking for the entire profession. Then I got lucky. I heard about a psychiatrist who didn't accept the system any more than I did. I believe every person has hidden potentials and that the tools will help them tap into those potentials. I walked out of that seminar so excited, I felt like I could fly. I had only learned one tool at the seminar, but I couldn't wait to give it to Roberta. To my amazement, she seized on it. More amazingly, it helped. Giving Roberta something that provided immediate help didn't make her more demanding. It inspired her to become a more active, enthusiastic participant in her own therapy. I wondered who taught Phil all of this stuff, the tools and everything else. I never set out to do this. I had defined my job as returning my patients to normal. But these people were going way beyond normal. They were discovering potentials they didn't even know they had. Their experiences opened my eyes to a completely new vision of what a human being could achieve. The tools will change the way you look at your life and your problems. Instead of asking, is there anything I can do about this problem? You'll learn to ask, which tool will allow me to solve it?